Hi there this story title is Albert Einstein written by Maria Isabel Sanchez Vigueda illustrated by Jean Claudie Don't forget to like share and subscribe Once upon a time there was a little Jewish boy born in Germany who took 4 years to say his first word His name was Albert and for some time his little sister Maja was his only friend. No one else had enough patience to wait for him to talk. Albert was 5 when his father gave him a pocket compass which instantly became his favorite toy. There was something magical in that magnetic needle. It always pointed north. He wanted to learn how it worked. School was a bit of a nightmare for Albert. But back home, he loved diving into a pile of physics and maths books, trying to prove theories on his own. By the time he was a teenager, he had published his first scientific paper. After studying maths and physics in Switzerland, Albert got a job at a patent office. In this place, amazing new inventions were recorded, but none were as groundbreaking as the idea he was working on at home. Albert was a bit disorganized, but inside that brain his thoughts were in perfect order. He came up with a formula that said that anything we can see and touch can be turned into energy. It became the most famous formula in the world. His curiosity led him to explore space and time by mixing two original ideas and then he turned physics upside down with his theory of relativity. When he was proven right on an experiment, every university in the world wanted to meet this scruffy physicist. Albert was awarded a Nobel Prize for discovering photons, the tiny particles that light is made of. Still, he didn't attend the ceremony. He was busy traveling from place to place to place sharing his knowledge with other scientists and thinkers. Every country in the world received Albert with honor. But back home a very different welcome awaited him. The Nazis had taken control of Germany. They planned to get rid of anyone who was not like them. especially jewish people it was not just albert who was in danger but also many of his colleagues before moving to america with his family he convinced governments and universities to hire jewish scientists thanks to him they could leave germany too when the war broke out in europe Albert feared that the Nazis could use his discoveries to create the most terrible weapon in the world, a nuclear bomb. He sent a letter warning the president of the United States. He always regretted signing that letter. It led to the United States making their own nuclear bomb. Albert had always stood for peace and thought science should only be used to do good. That's why he refused to be involved in the creation of such a weapon. He became an American citizen and loved his new home. Still, he felt terrible about how the country treated his black fellow citizens. Whenever he could, he wrote against racism and used his fame to speak out about it. And by always questioning everything, 
लिटल एल्बर्ट बिकेम वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ओरिजिनल माइंड ऑफ द ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी अ जीनियस हु प्रूव टू द वर्ल्ड दैट क्यूरियोसिटी एंड इमेजिनेशन आर मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट देन नॉलेज Thanks for watching for more exciting read aloud stories please subscribe to our channel little hearts super kids also follow us on instagram for amazing updates